back to my channel, just having a few moments right now with just God and I, and I wanted to invite you in to our conversation. So if you have your Bibles right now, I'd love for you to meet me over here at Genesis, Genesis chapter 12. We're going to be in the same book, but I want to share two chapters with you, not the full chapter, just a few verses from Genesis. And so I'm going to share this with you right now. Genesis chapter 12 says, the Lord said to Abram, go from your country your people and your father's household to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. Amen. And so I want you to follow me over again to the next chapter. It's just the next chapter page. Turn the next page over and it's going to be Genesis chapter 13. And this is what I'm going to share with you in just a few moments. Genesis chapter 13 uh, says that, uh, so, so Abraham said to Lot, let's not have any quarreling between you and me or between your herders or mine, for we are close relatives. Is it not a whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go to the left, then I'll go to the right. And if you go to the right, then I'll go to the left. Lot looked around and saw the whole plain of Jordan toward Zoar was well watered, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward the east. The two men parted company. Verse 12 says, Abraham lived in the land of Canaan while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tent near Sodom. Amen. I'm going to just stop right there. I want to talk to you about your connections. So many times we have people that we want to be affiliates of or connected to. Maybe because your name is, is great, or maybe because you know a lot of people, or maybe because you have a lot of money, or maybe it's due to positioning. But people want to be connected to people who know things, who have access to things, or to ha who has money. And so in this case right here, I just want to use your imagination for just a few moments. In Genesis chapter 12, we hear, we're reading that God is telling uh, Abraham all of these things that he's going to do and all these things that he will be and, and all these things that the nations and the peoples of the earth will call him. Well, you can just imagine. I want you to imagine this just for a few moments, seconds, uh, while I have your attention. Have you ever been in a service where someone had just received a word of prophecy and they said, you're going to have this house or you're going to live this place or you're going to own this particular business. And there are people that are in the room and they hear it. Well, while they're hearing that, they're saying, hey, the, that's my friend. And so just when I was reading over this, I could just imagine Abraham hearing God say this about him and Abraham kind of being a little doubtful. Sometimes we don't see ourselves the way God sees us, but we have to change and shift our positions and start to change our thought process to see and to be receptive as to what God is saying about you. Now, can you just imagine Abraham speaking to Sarai or Sarai, uh, sometimes this is before her name was changed over to Sarah and his name was changed over to Abra, a his name was Abram, but this is before it was changed over to Abraham. Anywho, I wanted to just share this with you. I can just imagine him going home and saying to his wife, hey, babe, look, today God told me that I'm going to be great. God has promised me that my name would be great. And God said that I will be a blessing and that he will bless everyone who blesses me and he would curse whoever curses me and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through me. And, and as he says this, his wife is, is looking like, what else did he say? And, and then the Lord said, I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. And several times the Lord said he would bless Abram. And so as his wife Sarai is listening, she's like, whoa, okay, well, this is really good. I know we, we, we are, we're, 
getting ready to do some other things and we've done some other things and and i know god is speaking to you but this is really exciting and the point i wanted to get at which is the point that i shared with you earlier with having people in the room when prophecy comes forth especially when it's a good word of prophecy i believe that the conversation was spoken about uh, to abram and to sarai or sarai and so as they were talking about this, I believe that Lot heard the conversation. And so the point I'm talking about is connection. Lot was connected to Abram and Sarai or Sarai. And so as a result of it, Abram was blessed. And so as I went over to the 13th chapter of uh, Genesis, and I was sharing with you where Abraham is saying to Lot, hey, I don't want to fight. I'm just going to paraphrase right here. Let's not fight. We're relatives. I don't want your herders to fight with my herders. I don't want your workers to fight with my workers. This land is big enough. We can come together. Let us just part ways. It's okay. Everything is good. We just don't have to be in the same land. It's big enough for the two of us to split ways. And so as a result of it, Lot looked over to where Sodom and Gomorrah is, uh, over to the other side of Jordan. This is what the Bible tells us. Uh, to, he, so Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan of Canaan while Lot lived among the cities of the plain. And so as I shared this a little bit ago, uh, so it was just like Egypt. Uh, it was watered like, like, see the word like, it was watered like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. And this was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And so the thing I'm getting at is see how Lot's pure motives, not pure. I'm saying pure, but I'm shaking my head. No, because Lot was trying to get the best for himself. Lot was trying to pick out the best part for himself. Lot wasn't considering what Abram had done. Lot wasn't considering that the things that he had received was, were as a result of his connection to Abram. And so as I wrap this up right now, I want you to focus on people that are connected to you. I want you to focus on people's motives. I want you to focus on your motives. Why are you connecting to people? Why are you connecting to people the way you're connecting? And, and are you hearing what God is saying concerning you? There are times that God will bless us with certain things, monetary things, physical things, spiritual things. And then there are times that God will cause others to bless us as a result of being connected. But I wanted you to make sure that your motives are pure. Make sure your motives are correct because God sees everything that we're not focused on. God sees every motive, every spot of our heart that we try to hide. You can hide your heart from me, but you can't hide your heart from God. And Lot's motives ended up showing out as a result of where he ended up living, which he lived among Sodom and Gomorrah. I want you to tune in next time so I can share some of these other things with you, these great mysteries that God is sharing with the people of God, the body of Christ. So if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I want you to take this time to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. And I also want you to remember, as a result of you hearing this scripture, take a few moments in Selah. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.